can I speak about something? And I am not trying to offend anyone. In any videos that I make, I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not trying to make anyone mad at all. Like I said, it does not profit me to purposely make people mad for absolutely no reason or at all. I like peace. <laughs> I don't like strife. I really don't. So let me get to my subject. It is a very good thing to correct people. Let's say that a person is doing something wrong and you come to that person, hey, what you are doing, having sex before marriage, cursing, stealing, doing all of these sinful things, what you are doing is wrong and I can show you right in the Bible where what you are doing is wrong. There is nothing wrong with that. There is not. But if you are willing to correct, make sure that you are able to handle constructive criticism as well. Don't be one of those people who are so willing to say you are wrong, you need to change this, you are wrong, you need to change this. Don't be that way if you can't handle constructive criticism, if you can't handle someone telling you what you are doing wrong. For instance, you are saying to a person that they are doing wrong and they need to change. And they may say, okay, good, okay. Then when you are doing wrong, a person approaches you and say, hey, what you are doing is wrong. But when someone corrects you, you get angry or sassy or mad and verbally attack that person or say something in sarcasm or something like that. You can't be that way. Because we all are growing more and more in God. No matter how long you have been serving God, we are still growing more in God. If you believe that you are not growing more in God, or if you believe that you are at the maximum level in God, let me ask you something. Since you are not able to grow anymore because you are already on the top level, do you know everything of God? No. Even the angels don't know everything of God. You are just a human. So you don't know everything about God. Do you know everything about this earth? Do you know everything about hell, demons, so on and so on? No. So that means that you are still growing more in God. So what am I trying to say? How will you be able to know something or do something right? For instance, let's say that you know something from here to here. And let's say that what you don't know or something, how can I say this? Let's say that what you know is from here to here. Now, there may be something way over here. So how can you do this right when you don't know anything of it? I pray that makes sense. So what you know, <laughs> so what you know is from here to here. And a person is informing you something that you don't know because what you don't know is outside of my two fingers. So 
maybe it would be easier if I had a third hand, right? <laughs> so what you don't know is outside here. So how would you be able to do this right when you don't know anything of it? So if you believe that you are on the top maximum level in God, that it is impossible for you to learn anything else, how can you improve? How can you grow? Because you know that you don't know everything, so you are still growing, but if you are not willing to listen to people, you are going to fail. Myself, as long as you come to me in a respectful way, I am going to listen to you. For instance, this guy, I believe he is 16, 17. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. The truth is the truth. He was telling me, actually more than one time, he was telling me some things that I have to change. And I was going, when he was telling me this, the way that my mind works, when I hear something or if there is an issue, my mind reverts back to what the Bible says. So while this person was telling me the things that I need to change, I was thinking about what the Bible says, and that guy was right. Was he right every time? No, but he was right some of the times when he was saying the things that I need to change. So I am going to listen to you if you speak the truth. I am not this person, you know, I am on YouTube and you need to change this and you need to change that and you need to change this. While if I am doing something wrong, when someone is confronting me, I am like, whatever, you know, you don't know more than God about me or you don't know more about God than I. So... I am not trying to listen to you. That is pride. That is pride. And if you have pride, I am telling you, there are more things wrong with you if there is pride. Some people say that they only have one sin. No. The one that you see, you are only seeing one. Usually when you have one sin, there are more things that you have that you don't see. So, from my understanding, when a person says that they have one sin, no, because if they look deeper, they have way more than one sin. Because usually a sin is going to connect to an other sin, an other problem. So you just don't have one issue. There are more issues. A person may say, well, Kevin, I have a masturbation problem or I have a lust problem or I just have an anger problem. No, there is something else. There are more sins. Well, you know, if I can just get over this sin, this one sin, everything is going to be okay. No, once you get over that one sin, you are going to find out that they are much more than just that one sin. I pray that all of this makes sense. If you are willing to correct people, which there is nothing wrong with that, make sure that you are open for correction as well. And also, if you are willing to correct people, make sure that you are living for God. The Bible teaches against people trying to correct other people when they are in sin. How are you going to tell me what to do or what I should change, even if you are right? How can you tell me what I should change when you are in sin? Like, you are doing so many wrong things and you are coming up to a person, hey, you should change that, you should change this. It doesn't even sound right. 
how about you correct yourself once you get right then go out and correct people myself i have really no problem telling you all about the bad things that i did in the past why because i don't do them anymore this is why i speak so freely about it well kevin you shouldn't speak about it because people may judge you i don't care <laughs> I speak about what I used to do because it may help other people. Yes, people may say what they want to say, whatever, but it is going to help more than hinder. Like I said, I speak about it because I don't do those things anymore. I have no want to do them anymore. That is why I speak so freely about my past sins. I am not so much about image and stuff like that. I don't really care about those things. As as you can see, you know, I have hair all over my face. You see it? I didn't even shave. Look, I got hair all over. I have to cut my hair, but I have not cut my hair or anything. This old shirt, I don't care. I care about going to heaven. All this other stuff on earth, yes, I may want this and that, but my main concern is living right. So this is why I make videos to help other people that are willing to change. If I can change, and I was very bad when I was in sin, if I can change, anyone can change. You just have to put forth an effort. Do you believe that it was easy for me to change? Many times I would cry out to God, so many times, asking him to help me, I don't want to sin anymore, blah, blah, blah. But some people think that they can change within a day or two and wonder why things are not working well with them when they are not willing to sacrifice everything for God. I sacrificed much for God, and I am still sacrificing. The more I elevate in God, in God, the more I see I have to sacrifice more. Then when I elevate higher, I have to sacrifice more. Higher, more, higher, more, I'm telling you, until it is to the point where I don't have anything else but God. I pray that this makes sense. It was not easy for me. The only thing you see is how I am now, but you don't see how I was before and how hard it was for me to get from where I was all the way up to now. And since you can't do it within a year or so, you just give up and say, well, you know, God knows my heart and you just throw it off. No. Even now, even now while I serve God, it is still a struggle. If anyone says that serving God is easy and they don't have to fight hard to serve God, you have to look really hard at them because something is not right. Something is not right. If they say that they don't really receive demonic attacks or they really get along with everyone, everyone is so nice to them and they are not having any troubles and stuff like that. The first thing that comes to my mind when a person says that, they may still be in sin. Because people that I know that are serving God, it is constant persecution in some type of way. Either by demons or about people at their jobs and stuff like that. Constant persecution. So be very careful of people who say, Oh, the Christian life is so easy. It is so fun. It's so happy. <laughs> you need to be careful of those people. I'm serious. I am really serious. If you are willing to correct make sure you make yourself open to be corrected as well. I make myself open to be corrected. Now, if you come, like I said, if you come to me talking crazy and stuff like that, hey, I'm not trying to hear you. 
But if you are really nice and come to me in a very respectful way, I am going to hear you. And I am going to check what the Bible says with what you are saying. But I am going to hear you out. But don't come to me, Kevin, blah, 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 blah. You should shave your face. You should cut your hair, blah, 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 blah. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.